Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So hari ni kita akan review makeup product daripada China. Tapi dia punya harga sama macam drugstore. So let's start. So hari ni I nak buat this review portable product yang boleh dapat dekat Shopee ataupun Lazada. It's from China. But it is not the same level macam O2O, IMAG and what not. So this one dia high-end dekat China. Okay, dia punya quality high-end tapi dia punya harga tu lebih kurang macam drugstore punya range. Dia adalah ZC. So I think you guys dah tahu sebab uh, one year ago ke two years ago ada few YouTuber ataupun uh, influencer dia orang memang dah review this product. Cuma I baru dapat tahu this year. So I think it's not too late for me untuk try myself and also untuk review untuk bagi tahu you guys. Let's go to the review now. Okay, so this brand nama dia adalah ZC is a China brand. So I kind of like macam interested untuk cuba this makeup brand. So let's try one by one first. This primer is a green primer. Look at the box. The box is so cute. The design tu memang really really nice lah. If you can see here, memang I really love that. Dia ada timbul-timbul sikit dekat sini. Lepas tu dia ada cakap yang ini adalah the British Museum XZC Light Feather Repair Cream. Dia ada tiga colour which is the uh, natural one. Lepas tu ada yang warna purple and also ada yang warna hijau. So yang ini adalah 20 gram tau atau 20 ml. Yang ini warna hijau. Okay texture dia memang a bit pekat that you can see here. Okay dia memang macam moisturizer, primer macam tu lah. So you can just immediately guna without using color correctors sebab yang ni memang dah warna hijau. So terus guna saja. Dia memang wow, wangi sangat. Tengok dekat cermin pun. I tengok dekat cermin pun dia memang nampak natural punya brightening. Bukannya macam yang ada white cast yang terlalu obvious tau. Yang ni memang nampak natural sebab dia memang cancel out all the red color. Dia bagi macam neutral tone to my face. Okay. So sekarang we already put dia punya primer. Kalau you nak, you boleh just click link dekat bawah, dekat description box. Semua ada sekali kat situ. Okay, so this is the ZC foundation you can see here. Okay, it's a 30 gram punya foundation. The bottle is very unique sebab depan ni dia macam ada curve a little bit. And then yang belakang tepi ni, the side view ni dia macam very um, rectangular shape lah macam tu. Okay, okay, dia punya bottle tu memang rasa sangat-sangat luxurious. It doesn't feel like macam... You beli daripada drugstore macam murah-murah macam tu kan. Yang ni memang rasa luxury. <laughs> yang ni memang rasa luxury. Yes. Oh yang ini adalah hydrating uh, foundation. So bila you pakai it will give that satin finish to your face. Which right now is my favourite foundation. Whatever foundation yang ada satin finish memang I really love it. Ah uh, Kita akan letak foundation ni guna brush and then baru guna sponge tau. Because that is always my routine letak guna brush dulu lepas tu baru i guna sponge so you guys can see here right now dia dalam kamera dia memang agak nampak cerah sikit tau but it's okay it's okay i don't know whether it because of lighting ke apa dia punya bau ni memang sama bau dengan dia punya primer so like i said kalau you guys tak suka Dengan fragrance dekat dalam you punya cosmetic product, this is not for you. Kalau you guys are okay with fragrance, a little bit fragrance, so you can buy this one. Memang really full coverage guys. Okay, right now I'm so in love dengan dia punya texture. Memang really sit well dekat I punya muka. Okay, so I memang suka dengan dia punya finishing. Sebab finishing ni macam memang satin punya finish. So the sponge ni, I memang tak basahkan. Okay, kita akan guna just a dry sponge. Okay. Cantik sangat. Yep. Really nice. So lightweight. Dia punya dia, rasa dia dekat muka memang sangat-sangat lightweight. Yang ni adalah selepas I blend dengan I punya sponge pula. Okay, if you want to get this um, full coverage foundation, you boleh guna this technique. Brush dulu. Lepas tu, you boleh try dengan sponge. Kalau you nak guna wet sponge pun okay. Kalau you nak guna dry sponge pun okay. Dua-dua okay sahaja. Okay. Look at this. You can see the glow daripada si the ready camera boleh nampak the glow kat situ. I am so in love with this. Dia punya feeling tu sama macam bila I pakai Shuwei Mura punya foundation tau. I like it so much. Alright, the next step after kita letak foundation, kita akan pick dia punya powder pula. So, refreshing Silky Powder. Okay, so this is the Refreshing Silky Powder daripada ZC. Dia orang actually ada banyak shade tapi I took in the shade of AM01. Look at that design. I like it so much. Actually, kalau you guys kumpul all the product, kalau you beli all the shades, 
you kind of like macam ada a, a collection of it tau macam you boleh sambung-sambung lah dia orang punya pattern macam tu ni dalam dia you boleh nampak dekat situ is a zc okay is this okay oh wow Wow, oh, oh, dalam kamera dia macam terle- terlebih pula. Tapi dekat luar nampak okey. Oh, okey. Kena nak understand it now. Look at that. Yes. Oh my God, this is so nice. This is so nice. It does look good. It does look good. Okay, for whoever yang macam tak tahu right now, my routine is, I kalau tak powder dulu and then baru I letak concealer. I found that cara macam tu, macam lagi um, the texture on my skin tu lagi cantik lah. Tapi kalau you guys are not okay with that, you boleh try the traditional way which is you letak concealer, lepas tu baru you set. So, I'm gonna put dia punya concealer on the sponge. You can also guna brush if you want. Look at that. Mm-hmm. This is so good. This is so good. Like this is literally so good. Um, tak rasa berat. So like wait, easy to blend. Kalau you guys suka beli drugstore punya produk kan, you can try at least satu produk daripada yang ini daripada this brand. Then what I will do is I akan set kembali dengan powder. So we're going to use this um silky powder and then kita akan set kembali. But not so much. Kat mana yang I dah letak concealer saja tadi which is here, here, here. Okay dah. Actually I terlupa yang I tak ada product eyebrow tau daripada ZC ni. So I'll be doing eyebrow off camera and then I can come back. So let's go to the punya next product which is dia punya eye shadow. So yang ini macam heaven sense. Dia ada banyak. Tak salah dia ada nine shades. Kalau I tak salah dia ada nine shades of eye shadow. I punya um terbalik. <laughs> okay. I punya um dia tak ada pun nama dia kau benda tapi kalau you guys nak tahu dia punya eye shadow palette depan ni dia ada different Um, macam gambar macam tu tau So you Kalau you guys nak sama Macam I You boleh cari this one Macam kumbang ni Okay Okay ni adalah dia punya eyeshadow Nampak tak? Okay The reason I Pilih this eyeshadow Sebab yang ini My favorite color Okay this color Adalah uh, Warna yang pertama I guna masa awal-awal Belajar makeup dulu So I memang really in love With this type of color Okay Senang nak blend Cuma dia a bit powdery lah guys. You boleh tampak dekat sini. Okay. Nampak. Tapi I okay je. I tak ada masalah. Kalau certain uh, brand tu dia punya colour tu memang a bit powdery kan. I tak ada masalah. As long as dia pigmented. Kalau dia powdery. Lepas tu dia tak pigmented pula. Macam not worth it lah. I akan ambil warna brown yang gelap ni. Hmm. Really nice. Sebab colour dark brown ni pun senang sangat. For you to blend. Sebab sometimes ada palette. Dia punya colour-colour gelap ni susah nak blend tau. So the next one I akan ambil dia punya shimmer colour which is yang I cakap tadi my favourite one. And it's very buttery. Okay what I will do next I akan ambil this pink colour on top of the purple one. Oh wow. <laughs> Didn't expect this but so good. Yang this glitter, the pink colour ni, dia ada macam a hint of um green glitter tau. Dia macam pink, tapi dia macam ada green sikit. Macam tu lah. Is, I akan ambil the pink glitter tu, letak sikit kat bawah mata. Careful, jangan sampai dia termasuk dekat mata you. And I akan gunakan macam this gold colour. Letak dekat my inner corner, a little bit. Sahaja. Lepas tu, I akan ambil balik brush yang awal-awal tadi I guna untuk setkan I punya um, eyelid. Okay, using colour yang ini. Is, kita akan pakai dia punya eyeliner. 
Okay, according to some people, eyeliner is very good. But I don't know. Guys, so far, I dah cakap selama berapa minit ni and then I senyum-senyum dekat camera ni pun. My fine lines tak nampak. Like, my fine lines adalah sedikit. Tapi like, it's like, it's not so obvious tau tak. Macam it's so good. I punya bawah mata pun it's really, really good. Okay, so this is dia punya eyeliner. Eyeliner dia macam basic sangat. Macam basic lah. It's a basic eyeliner macam tu. Dia punya brush tu memang very soft. So that is the eyeliner. I letak dekat tepi je. So now kita buat dia punya mascara pula. For the mascara, I dia ada dua jenis mascara. Tapi I ambil mascara yang macam um, slender punya mascara. Okay, this is the one. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Nampak tak? Okay, I am impressed dengan dia punya mascara. Yang I boleh nampak dia memang panjangkan bulu mata tapi untuk tebal tu tak sangat lah. So right now, I tak ada dia punya blusher, contour semua tu sebab uh, kebanyakan dia punya blusher dengan contour tu macam tak kena dengan I punya skin tone. So I will do it off camera and then kita akan sambung pula with the next product. So I have dia punya setting spray. This is like dia orang punya latest product they told me. This uh, lasting makeup setting spray. So, it's kind of like macam a ball. And then yang ini actually dia macam hydrating punya primer. Long lasting makeup. And then at the same time dia akan bagi that glow to your face. So let's just spr spray it on my face. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it's a bit hard untuk you spray. So actually kalau you spray guna setting spray, you kena dalam 15cm ke maybe 20cm ke but It's so hard for me untuk press this spray. Dia macam ketat sikit. Probably it's new or something. So, I letak dekat sikit tadi. So, what I can see here, dia memang really nice on my face right now. Okay, look at that. 